My research career on wood started uh, back uh, in 2004, and then myself and uh, Simpson Strontai really go way back uh, there. We start to work together on big shake table tests to prove the concept for safer buildings. We did the nice wood together back in 2009 in Japan at eDefense, the world's largest shake table. Then the collaboration with Simpson Strontai just continues throughout my research career. Now we arrived here. We have actually put in two world records now. The first one is the largest full-size wood building ever tested back in 2009, and now the tallest full-size building ever tested on the shake table here for the Nary Tall Wood Project. As the momentum was building for Tallwood, the 10-story project, Simpson Strontai, they were brought in almost immediately. You know, Steve Pryor, others at Simpson, we, we have a long enough relationship that they're, they're almost sort of always involved in the discussions. We've had situations where somebody will offer us a product, but we refuse because, you know, we know we want what we consider the, the best collaboration, uh, which is with Simpson. So what we're trying to prove in the Tallwood project is that you can design a building that is very, very structurally resilient. They can come through an earthquake without damage, and it's through innovation in both the lateral system and the gravity system connections that have allowed this to happen. For, for this building, it is very important for the uh, rocking wall design so that the building don't drift too much. But at the same time, if you don't have a good uh, gravity system, then the entire thing gonna collapse. Key component of a gravity system, which is how you connect the beam to the column, how the beam hand on the column. That connection is uh, completely designed by my partner, collaborator at Simpson Strontai, with Steve Pryor and uh, his team. We have two systems in the building. You have a gravity system and you have the lateral system. The lateral system can be as resilient as all of this, but it doesn't matter at all if the gravity system isn't as resilient to keep up with it, to keep up with the movements and not have failures and connections, which could lead to um, partial and global collapse of the building. One of our contributions to the project was to develop a new class of beam to column connections and column to foundation connections that were as resilient as this rocking timber wall structure and it's those two things together that have allowed this building to provide the resiliency that it's shown it can provide during all of this project. The prototype the system so that uh, it allows not only uh, effective transfer of gravity load but also the uh, connection joint can actually be flexible. They can rotate during earthquakes without getting damaged and we have seen that in real life, full scale, the joints in all the joints in the building, there are hundreds of them, has been stressed uh, cyclically by earthquakes hundreds of times. Simpson Strontai's team not only designed that from the scratch, they also fabricated all of them, sent them all to the site, and uh, supervised the installation of all of them with other partners. So the goal of the Tallwood project is a resilient wood-based lateral force resisting system for tall wood structures. And to do that, they've actually, um, they've not necessarily reinvented the wheel. They've borrowed a technology that was first developed in concrete. This is this concept of a rocking wall system, where you have a shear wall that isn't, it is not anchored down to the ground with traditional hold downs on the bottom corners, let's say, or you know, rebar and a concrete shear wall. But the whole thing is a big rectangular block that would actually lift up once it starts moving sideways during an earthquake. And to make it come back, we put steel post-tensioning rods on the wall that are highly stressed from the beginning, right? And so they, they're basically rubber bands. You don't necessarily think of steel as being like a rubber band, but up to a certain point, it's exactly like a rubber band. And it just pulls those walls right back down to the ground. And that system has proven to be extremely damage resistant, more damage resistant than a concrete rocking wall. Design for this 10-story building is is unique. First, nothing nothing this tall has ever been tested, but the fact that the all 10 stories are wood, typically any anything over about six stories is combined material. But demonstrating it with mass timber means that we can essentially do it with anything. The long-term goal of this project is that we're going to take um, what we've learned and how we've designed this building and move it through the building code process to make it an approved system in the building code 
so that other engineers can emulate what we did and these types of buildings can start making it into the built environment where they can have a positive effect on so many people's lives moving forward to be in this damage-free type of building for the structural system. Big reason for considering mass timber in this type of project and in resilient construction is it's not only able to be resilient, but it's the most sustainable construction material on earth. We can grow it. Simpson Strontai not only provide the product, that's the basics, a lot of people do that, but we're collaborating at a level beyond connector supplier or product supplier. But Simpson Strontai is really a step or one level up there. They really participate in innovation, uh, prototyping and coming up with new ways to build and better ways to build uh, together with us. We felt great about the partnership with Simpson Strong Tie. They've always felt uh, like a, a key industry partner. I think the, the R&D that Simpson Strong Tie does is definitely some of the most solid in the industry for sure.